initially, um, I think some of the paintings, if not all of them, um, elicit a sort of visceral response, maybe even disgust. Um, but I think that as you start to look closer at them, you really start to identify with the different elements within the painting. And um, I think as you do that, what was once sort of disgusting and chaotic kind of really just reveals a, a very deep and human desire for a connection. I've also got several sculptures in this show, which are a first for me and I'm super excited about. Um, one of the sculptures is titled Zarathustra and stands in front of the painting titled The Last Man. And um, this, the, the, this coupling is, is meant to sort of recreate experientially what happens in the parable when Zarathustra, the prophet, sort of reveals this condition of the last man to the people and they bypass him uh, and sort of enter that realm. In the same way, I just, I kind of wanted to put the sculpture in front where people were semi-mesmerized by the sort of idea that a sculpture or, or that a, a charger is kind of floating and uh, only to sort of ignore that for the uh, the kind of detail of the painting, which is uh, by design meant to meant to draw a person in. Much like Nietzsche's parable, I am looking at the archetypal nihilist, um, which I think in a contemporary context might be like the gamer or somebody who's otherwise terminally online. Unlike the parable, I'm not looking at this condition as a moral failure on the part of the individual, but as a natural response to both the interconnectedness brought on by the internet and accelerated during the pandemic, as well as the hierarchical barriers that are prevalent in some communities, both on and offline. My work is um, deeply anthropological, and I think that's becoming more true as time goes on. Um, and I think in order to study people, you have to spend time where they are. And right now, I think that place just happens to be the internet. <laughs>